With the help of a Master Gardener intern, Cheatham Lake is cultivating several pollinator gardens for bees and butterflies and is enlisting the support of more volunteer gardeners interested in helping to certify the site as a monarch way station. They will ensure plants are native and free of pesticides, a water source is available in the garden, and that the habitat has the necessary milkweeds, nectar sources, and shelter required to sustain the butterflies. We're serving a purpose here. Uh, one person can make a difference, really can, uh, for bees and, and for, especially for the butterflies. Those of us who plant know that working in the dirt is therapeutic. Getting your hands dirty is therapeutic. Plant something and to see it grow. I don't think you can have much more satisfaction than that. Butterfly way stations provide safe havens for butterflies and bees, and the lake staff intends to use the gardens as an educational tool for visitors, students, and others by conducting on-site programs. So it's really interesting to see up close these different um, caterpillars, the butterflies, and the different types of bees that are attracted to this garden, and identify them and actually, you know, see what they look like. The plan is to try to have something functioning throughout the whole year. While planting an assortment of purple asters, burgundy ajugas, and pansies, additional food sources and ground covers to improve the habitat, officials said on National Public Lands Day that volunteer gardeners will help with developing, maintaining, and improving the pollinator gardens. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the National District near Cheatham Dam in Ashland City, Tennessee.